Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a letter by Fulgentius of Ruspi, Bishop. Christ lives forever to make intercession for us. Notice at the conclusion of our prayer, we never say through the Holy Spirit, but rather through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through the mystery of the Incarnation, Jesus Christ became man, the mediator of God and man. He is a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. By shedding his own blood, he entered once and for all into the holy places. He did not enter a place made by human hands, a mere type of the true one. He entered heaven itself, where he is at God's right hand, interceding for us. By this condition, Christ, the only begotten Son of God, though He Himself ever remaining God, became a priest. To Him, along with the Father, we offer our sacrifice. Yet, through Him, the sacrifice we now offer is holy, living, and pleasing to God. Indeed, if Christ had not sacrificed himself for us, we could not offer any sacrifice, for it is in Him that our human nature 
becomes a redemptive offering when we offer our prayers through him our priest we confess that Christ truly possesses the flesh of our race clearly the apostle refers to this when he says every high priest is taken from among men he is appointed to act on behalf of these same men in their relationship to God. He is to offer gifts and sacrifices to God. We do not, however, only say your son when we conclude our prayer. We also say who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. In this way, we commemorate the natural unity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is clear then that the Christ who exercises a priestly role on our behalf is the same Christ who enjoys a natural unity and equality with the Father and the Holy Spirit. From the desert, with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <laughs>